We already know a lot when it comes to the parameterizing the geometry, but uh, there is one thing I didn't show you yet, which is a visibility settings. It's a yes no parameter that we can find when we select any type of object. When I select this window seal, there is this visibility option we ca which I can uncheck by default. So it won't be visible in the project. When I load it into the project, it's, it will simply disappear in all the views. But if I want to drive the um, visibility of, of this element by parameter, I simply use this small rectangle and call it I will make it an instance parameter. This is a yes no type of parameter and do the same for the visibility of the of the uh, exterior parameter. I'm sorry, this is material, this is visibility. So I think I didn't match uh, the the naming to the to the correct seal, so I will just simply switch it. Okay, and we got uh, we can make it a default value. This is visibility here, and it's stored uh, by default in the other category. So maybe it's good to store it actually under visibility. I type V on my keyboard, so I quickly went through the list. V, visibility, okay. And now when I load it into the project, I can independently for each of the window select whether to show or not the seals. So I selected, now it's listed here, exterior seal visibility, and it's not visible, All right? But of course I forgot to make it an instance parameter, so I have only one parameters there. So if we make such a mistake, that's why you always should check how the family works inside the project. I will go back, go back to family types, and edit this parameter, switch it back to the in instance parameter and load it again into the project. So there is this procedure, this iteration that uh, we are going back and forth from the family editor into, um, into the project and once again testing. This time I have two parameters here and I can independently switch them on and off. When it comes to the visibility, we have also additional option to drive the geometry depending, for example, on the detail level of the view. We have here coarse, medium, fine detail, the same in the project, right? So in order to uh, to make the model lighter and get rid of the of some of the details in the lower uh, detail level in Revit, we can adjust the visibility of some elements. Let's say that this window seals and shape handle don't need to show in the coarse and medium level, on these two. I would select this object and go to the visibility settings and here I have option to choose on which co uh, detail level it appears. So I will unselect coarse and medium for this one, the same here, and uh, for this loaded component also uncheck coarse and medium. Let's load it back into the project and test how it looks like. When I switch to fine, the seals and the handle should appear. And that worked. Great. We can also test the visibility settings inside the family editor. There is this preview visibility option here with a light bulb. 
and we can activate this option. Now this uh, orange window will appear and when I'm switching back and forth I can see how it will actually behave inside of the of the fam of the, of the project. 